In this quick tip, we'll explore some further uses of the Oxford Dynamics. Some people think this can be a little complex to use, but once you understand the layout, it's quite simple. It's broken down into six different modules, which include compression, gating, as when you hit the access button, the parameters will appear on the screen, an expander in green, the compression is purple, the limiter is red, the two-band EQ is blue, light blue and yellow, followed by the warmth function, which is gold. Let's start out with something simple and put some compression on a conga. I'll access it and then switch it in line. You can see this will light up when I turn it on. There we go. You can see the compressor's lit up here. We'll start with the threshold. And then we'll soften the ratio of the compression in 5 dB steps right here. You can see that. It softens the curve. And I'll set it to 10 and leave it there. And here's where you change the ratio and add a little makeup gain. Very simple. Over here we have a two-band sidechain EQ that I use to equalize my compression. I'll switch the module in and then you can see you have EQ and EQ sidechain. I want to pull down a little reverb that was printed on the percussion loop. So I'll just choose a frequency up around 12 and I'll pull it down using this high frequency gain. Adjust it. It's a subtle change so far, but let's adjust the cue now. That sounds good right there. Now we'll take a look at the warmth function. It can add a little bit of loudness and punch like tubes do. You've got amount and trim, that's it. And frankly, I just turn them both up to 100% and listen to what it does. Switch it out. Definitely adds a little color. And now we'll put a few dynamic touches on the drum loop that accompanies the congas. Switch on the dynamics for the loop. I have a preset that I call loop compression. I'm going to use the compressor, the equalizer. Here are the bands again where you make the adjustments. And the warmth function, I'll put that in. I always like it at max. And I'll add some gate. This screen over here helps you visually understand what dynamic effects are taking place. Okay, that's what the effect in. It's tightening up some of the hits, which is good. Adjust the threshold. Now I'll make the adjustments while listening to the congas too. Add a little EQ. You can see the signal is in. Low frequency and the gain. It's pretty obvious. The input gain lets you lower the level in case you start peaking. Again, check the warmth function. It's subtle, but it's there. Add the shaker. And there, we got a nice little rhythm section happening. Now we'll put the dynamics across the guitar part, which was done with a Telecaster with P90 pickups, which are dark. I want to compress it and add a little top end while I'm at it. Here's the threshold adjustment. just so it's barely pulling it down. Okay, we've got a little EQ added up around 9K. Give some top end to it. Remember, this is where you turn the module for the EQ on itself. We'll switch it in. The EQ is already in. We'll turn on and off. A little too bright. Add the warmth function. Take them in and out. That works. Now we'll do something a little different and put the dynamics after the reverb. We have an Oxford reverb with a 140 plate. I 
have a reverb compression preset already made that has compression, warmth, and side chain EQ. So I'll switch them out. Okay, I'm going to use some compression first, very subtly. Access it and then switch it in. It's just pulling the signal down just a bit. Now we'll go to the EQ. I want to pull some of the top end of the reverb down after the compression. So let's make a few adjustments here. Got to listen to the signal. Makes it brighter. Now I'll darken it a little. Now I'll add warmth to the reverb tail. Now that's nice. There we go. It's a nice warm guitar reverb. Almost like a tube amp reverb. Experiment with makeup gain. Sounds good there. Okay, now to show the flexibility of the dynamics even more, we'll put it on the two mix. So let's put all the parts in and then play it down. You can see I'm peaking the output gain, so we'll use the limiter now. Access it, bring it down just a bit so it doesn't overload. Adjust the threshold. Take the overloads out. There we go. Okay, now we'll put some compression in just a bit. Increase the ratio and add a little makeup gain. Warmth. Still have a small overload on the input, but not on the output. Pop the modules in and out. So let us see what effect we're having. The warmth really works on this two mix. Again, we're going to lower the level just a bit so that I don't overload the outputs. Nice clean signal now. So there you have it, some of the many uses of the Oxford Dynamics plugin.